Oh no, I have risky armor. Damn knights. I felt like I should have parried them both there, but it didn't get either one. Heck, I was late. that one it's amazing how their shield is blocking fire damage that they're stepping in but it is having your shield out is good enough to do that wow not making it happen the two of them together cover each other pretty well. They're my warm up here. How hard will the Abyssal Demon Tubble will be? Will that be a fight I should take on now, or later? I feel like that boss is... annoying. One of the harder ones. I can't remember though. Holy shit! It hits so hard! Also, I drank there and it didn't give me my health quickly enough. Heck. Oh, you think I need to burn them down just because there's two of them? That's surely a way to evade. <laughs> I have some pretty good weapons. I have some average weapons. My weapons suck. They're getting outdated. I'm gonna just parry these guys. The magic obviously isn't doing anything to him, that's a waste of my effort here. I lost a lot of health that time trying to do it. Sometimes I land some pretty good hits. Well, I, the claymore is good, but it doesn't um, have any upgrades on it. It's it's plus five, so, you know, it's not like it's broken <laughs> right now. It will be good when it's plus 15, but currently it is not that. You just get out of here, man. You just get out of the way, buddy. We gotta fight your brother over here. Ugh. They're so annoying. Can't even move because the other one is flooding in attacks while I'm parrying his buddy. Can I switch to two hand for the repost and then switch back after stun happens? I forget if that's a thing I should do or try to do. 
Just two guys in the hallway. Anytime that the terrain is on their side, the two the two Xer is real trouble. It's a Capra demon all over again, these two guys. <sighs> Need to buy myself some space. It's so easy to parry one on one, but with the other guy backing him up. I just need him to mess around for a second and I'll get him. There we go. It's one on one now. Now's my chance. Let's not mess it up. Parrying's like the only way this is gonna happen. They're dead. Damn black knights. Jeez. Did it give me anything? I have a black knight halberd. It's not upgraded though because I don't have any gear for it so... Also I don't have any decks so I can't use it so... I don't really have it yet, I guess is the reality there, but I can get it soon. That's a that's a solution for a lot of problems. Let's check the rest of this place out. Do I need a key that I don't have? I didn't know the answer to that question. Um, if you came back here, like I need a key for the prison, right? That I don't have. It's not a thing that I have. It's just not here, so... I usually would have it, right? There's a key, right? <laughs> I can't remember. I feel like you get it on the way back in or something. Or like this guy has it or something. Something. Yeah, there's two of him as well, I bet. He's probably not as dangerous as what I just did, though. There might not actually be two of him, I'm not sure. Even though there's two of all the bosses, I think he might be an exception. I'm not sure, though. He's a chump. Wow. He hesitated. He's kicking. What a jerk. Nice dodge. <laughs> Sorcerer boots. Yeah, like, there's nothing else to do here, I think, unless I want to... Oh, that's back. There's nothing else to do here unless I want to fight the boss. And, you know, that isn't really worth my time either. Like, do you even get an item for that? <laughs> that's just a waste of my effort right now. It's going to be really hard, probably, and I'm not going to get anything specific for it. I will get a ton of souls, I'm sure. I'll probably get, like, 40,000 souls. But, um, I actually already have two slabs, so, you know, I'm not even worried about that. Slabs are not the piece I'm missing. I want Demon Titanite and Twinkling Titanite. But those are not around. There's no way to get those right now that I know of. Tells trigger fire. Fuck. 
I too will drink. I saw the Sunny D retexture. You, you gotta do a lot of work to retexture stuff. In this video game. I also saw, um... A whole lot of memes that rename areas to obnoxious things. <laughs> These are the mods that exist for Dark Souls, not, not anything else. A bunch of replacers for the death message that aren't funny. I just wanted to check it out, man. Why are you guys being like this? Get out of my way. You too. Damn Spearman. Just wanted to see if this is locked. It is locked. So this is the key I need then, right? Yeah. So we ain't got nothing going on. What a shame. Oh. What kind of alerts? I feel like my chatbot is capable of reading the chat and noticing those. Uh, the programmer who would have done it for me though is busy, so my bot doesn't have that feature, but I think it wouldn't be that hard for me to add it onto the bot I already have. Yeah, I am in offline mode. Those are native signs. Don't worry about that. Those signs say things like, sit at a fire, get healed, and learn to jump. Get your shield. Yeah, those are fake. Phantoms where? I'll check. I don't see why I wouldn't be online or offline. No, I guess it did log online. You're right. We don't want that. Let me go on Steam and tell it that, um, to stop it. I'm surprised that it even lets me online when I have mods. I've thought about that. I mean, I've seen a lot of people do sound effects by alert, and obviously I do too, but I do it manually. Uh, gives me the controller. I don't want that stuff playing all the time. No, if someone invaded, I get banned. <laughs> it's just because I'm playing modded. I'm supposed to be offline. Do not want to be online. Didn't mean to be online. Now we're good. He gave me that offline warning now, right? We should be alright. Huh. Good use of drums. Oh, I meant to have a death counter. Let's get that. Put that on screen. Uh, how many times have I died to the Dark Knight? Like... Let's say 10. <laughs> Let's say we're at 10 deaths already. Let's do that. I died to them quite a bit before I figured out that I just had to parry six times and there's no other solution on earth to beat them. Outfit. Thank you for the sub. Um, uh, my stream deck should be doing this somehow, right? I just when there's a way. I'm looking for it real quick. There's uptime counter. Well, I have my normal death counter. I could just do that, I guess. Yeah, I'll just do that. I know how it works, so. Let me load that. 
auto hotkey script. There it is, okay. Uh, so this is only for this session. I don't know how many times I died uh, last session, it didn't count. So... It's probably in the hundreds. <laughs> uh, probably not. I don't know. It's up there, though. I've died quite a bit. But I'm going to say I've already died probably 10 times. 10 times at the most uh, at this point. So let's get that number up there. Okay, I'm ready. Let's not die to this torch guy again. Got my own torch. I can't believe these fellows survive. <laughs> I swing for my weapon here. Okay, so um, I said I would check this out. There's, I don't know if it's randomized or not. What kind of item should I be dropping to get a reaction here? You give me I want to look this up. Snuggly. Rubbish? I have one of those. Pendant? I might have those. I have a lot of moss clumps. Okay, I can't click back in the game without swinging and dying, so there's that. That's cool. Uh, now it's a problem because I'm going to lose my humanity trying to get back up past these jerks. That death was extremely... me clicking out of the game and coming back in, unfortunately. Requires a swing. Because mouse click is attack. And that moves you forward and kills you. Thanks for the sub. I've got a good spell for handling these guys at least. Thanks for the sub, Kefka. Yeah, I don't understand this secret they love so much. <laughs> it's so stupid. And that it requires logging out is wild. Probably do all kinds of clicks. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the other window here. Yeah, okay, there it is. If I click blocks, that works. A okay, purple moss clump normally gives you a twinkling titanite. So we um we now log out and log in, which is incredible that this is a thing. <laughs> People like secrets, man. Somebody probably does think that this is cool. You give me, give me. Okay, we are going to get random prizes for this, so I'm going to check them out. I gave them a purple moss clump. Let's try a bloomin' onion. I don't think I have any blood red moss clumps. Man, we should have four Twinkling Titanite from this, not well, not one, not none. Green, that's for fire weapons for some reason. Uh, What else do I have that's on? Cracked Eye Red Orb is one of them. I have no use for that. Like, 
garbage item. I should just throw them away. Less inventory wasted. Weapon. Ooh, that's not bad. I have the helmet though, so don't need it. I've got some more of these things. Um, Soul of Manus, wow, really? And you get... You drop this ridiculous spell and you get... Man. Let me look at that. I'm, I'm curious what spell the Pursuers is. You drop one of the last souls in the game and you get... A ranged attack that is sorcery. Five homie mass souls. It sounds like the ultimate version of the homing soul spell. And you do it here. So silly. Okay. Iromancy flame can turn into red titanite slab. I really don't want to give that up. So. Wow. If you upgrade it to plus 15 and then do it, you lose it and you get a different item. Huh. I'm checking these out here. Let's see. This is one of them, I think. Yes. I'm going to want these probably, but can't do anything about that. I only have one anyway. I'll just not get poisoned. <laughs> just, just don't get egged. It'll be fine. Armor? That's not bad. That might be the best armor I have for defense now. This is one of them, rubbish. Hey, Rev, thanks for the sub. More armor. I was really hoping to find an Estus Flask upgrade. <laughs> or a key of some kind. Humanity, I hate to throw away, but we do need to drop one. Just one. No big deal. Am I even in the nest anymore? Hold on. Did we start the real Dark Souls yet? Yeah, I've been... I'm actually a couple hours in here. I played last night for a long time, actually, eight hours or so. Uh, so I've actually killed the gargoyles. I've beaten Hydra. I'm about where Author Blues is, I think, except everything's doubled. I'm about on the same amount of progress. It took a long time to beat some of those bosses. More armor. Ugh, I wouldn't have done that trade any time, man. Uh, so the items I'm missing are. Dung pie. Oh, I can drop the skull lantern. Uh, apparently that's one. I just got that. Ring of the Sun Princess Xanthius crown. Who would do that? For another ring of favor and protection? Can you have two? Wow. Can you really have two ring of favors and protections? Twin humanities is one. That sucks. I'm gonna throw that away too. Man. These are not something I can get a hold of very easily. Humanities in general. I didn't know you could have two of those. I hate this bird thing. I don't mess with it ever, normally. You give, give. <laughs> wow. Big scam. That's not cool. Sunlight metal. I don't have any of those. I see. I know where I can get them, though. I can come back here later and trade in. I need a prism stone, a dung pie, uh, blood red moss clump, sunlight metal, pendant, sunlight maggot. Do I have that actually? I think I might. Um, I, I don't want to give away both of my light sources though. I'll throw the lamp away for now. We'll keep the helmet. Yeah, I don't want to drop that. We'll drop the lamp that I just got. Hey, time. Thanks for sub. I did beat Double Capper. It wasn't that hard. I did it with armor. Uh, I tanked 
all the damage with my Black Knight shield and the most armor I could get, and then I swung my spear from behind my shield, my Black Knight shield, which is not really uh, capable of that. I mean, no, no shield is, but I've killed all the dogs and then handled the other two easily once the dogs were gone. It took a couple dozen tries, but I already did rubbish. I had one already. I'm, I'm, if I don't find the storage thing soon, I'm just going to drop all this stuff on the floor. I don't need almost all of this stuff. It's wasting inventory space, so. Farewell, Skull Lantern. I'll never see you again, uh, unfortunately. This is why I cannot drop my other light source. We'll really be in bad shape without that in this nonsense area that's coming up at some point. And what we're getting for it is just nonsense. So, you know, I won't get anything for destroying my sunlight hat, probably. I think I'm done here. I need uh, the sack, the ring of the sun princess. That's pretty much it. The Anthus crown, which I probably will try not to destroy. I, like I said, I kind of doubt that the randomizer puts anything mandatory in there. That would be surprising to me if it did, but maybe it does. I mean, Link to the Past does. <laughs> you get to go mess around with every single possible thing to get like the digging game and the Zora scam, you have to do that stuff, so... There's a chance that this is required, but I feel like it's probably not. I feel like this randomizer probably backed off on a little bit of that. I, uh... I did not join the Cat Covenant. And I... I think I pissed off the cat because the question's phrased weird and I forgot and I said no. I said yes. The cat is still alive though, if she'll forgive me. <laughs> I don't know if she will or not. Should I go after Pinwheel? What do you think about that? I actually don't know what to do next. It's Blight Town, I guess. Um, yeah, there's not anything else to do. I can't get into the sewers because I don't have the key. So it's the back door to Blight Town or Pinwheel. What would you like to do instead? Is there anything else to do? It's one of those two things, I think. No way around that. Pinwheel sounds less painful. Let's be attractive. <laughs> Beautiful. What is that buff up there? Is there a way for me to see what that is? I... What is what is down? What's causing that? Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it looked bad. I need to go repair my garbage. I don't have a repair box because the game hates me and won't give me one, so we have to go to the blacksmith. Uh, let's just do that now. My weapon is also injured, so... My weapon has taken a hit. <laughs> it's injured. Let's fix it. Uh, luckily, I do not have to repair too much. I think the randomizer would have been wise to either give me one out the gate or just remove durability completely, right? I think it should have just given me a repair box out the gate. A couple of items you should just be given. Things like that should just be handed to you in the start of the game. If I were making a randomizer, <laughs> that's what I would do. If people didn't like it, they could turn that option off. I 
I have to visit the blacksmith to repair, basically, is the problem here. I do have the weapon box. I can upgrade my weapons for free. I mean, not for free, but I don't have to interact with him to do it. Hi, Eater. Thanks for the sub. Be here. A sub. Why isn't there a repair all option? Oh, this is expensive. What is the default to no? Get out of here. This sucks. Remastered edition, everybody. It's a pinwheel. The easiest of what remains. Those skeletons will be a nuisance, uh, but they won't be living through too many swings of my sword, so probably not so bad. Now that all my gear's repaired. I also need to find the upgrade for weapons. That's another thing that's randomized and I'm sure it's an exciting find. I need some kind of ember, right? Some large ember to, to upgrade my weapons substantially. Okay, we need to uh, use a better weapon or just a higher damage one so I can kill these skeletons faster. It would be nice. They die reasonably fast in two swings though. I don't need to one shot them, I guess. dangerous. Lost my humanity form already. I'm not gonna mess with hum human form until I really have humanity and it's just not common enough. I'm way back here. Heck. Didn't save at the right fire. Teleport will be nice to find. Dramatic deaths are gone because I restarted. Let me turn those back on. I should not underestimate these skeletons. Farming rats with 10 humanity is the way to go. <laughs> if you're interested in having that stuff, that's the way to get it. Normally, they drop it all the time. There's 4x drop rate almost with 10 humanity. It's so much better. It's still like 10% though. It's not high enough for a single player game. Humanity is too good in this for as low as it's for it being an item like that. It does like five things and they're all busted. Drop rate is the biggest of them for me. 
definitely care about the drop rate right now when I'm trying to get randomized items, so I want that, but I cannot get it because I don't have any humanity just as a thing. I just don't have it. Ha, oh, these skeletons are so aggressive. They shouldn't be that different from other enemies, but for some reason they are just destructive as hell. I get stuck on a rock. Ugh. What am I going to do with these guys? What weapon should I use? Probably should try the spear instead of this sword. I can block with my shield and not have to mess with them at all. Unfortunately, low damage on this, too. That sucks. The lightning doesn't affect them, so... Please. Stop ever doing that again. Just jump attack. Why does it, why does it always mix up this weapon on the jump and never anything else that I use mixes it up? It's like it's different. And this will work. It's just a little slower than I. I don't have the patience for the spear here. Let's try these guys and see how it goes. These are the ones who beat me the first time. It's a very fast weapon. That guy's a really lousy shot. <laughs> He's so bad at throwing things. Need some practice at baseball. You miss a huge skeleton jumping at you. I've already got that item. This is the demon spear. Oh. Lightning on it, which is useless here. I think they're resisting the lightning completely, so it's just just 70 damage, pretty low. Just a regular old spear at that point. Probably better off with almost anything else, unfortunately. Because of that. Like it would be competitive with this if it were using it, but since it's not, the claim more is better. It does have a good animation on it. Can't deny that. <sighs> hey, Eric, thanks for the sub. So, when are you going to do a complete head sir? Bosses. I was going to, but it doesn't exist on the remastered. This is much worse than that anyway. <laughs> this sucks. Doubling all the enemies is way worse than randomizing the boss. I'd rather fight Manus with a broadsword from the start of the game than fight two of everything. I would beat him over time. He would lose. 
eventually. I could evade him eventually with that matter of time, but this... Some of these fights really suck a lot. Oh, isn't that really good? <laughs> I forget what that's for. I never really met the skeleton blacksmith in any run I've done. He's so hidden. I've got to deal with a billion skeletons for sure, yeah. I've got to find the resurrector and take him out quickly. Thankfully, I can see in the dark. At least they've got that going for me. I'm pretty sure all these skeletons are immortal. I don't have a divine weapon or even access to one. No option. Oh, for fuck's sake. They stun locked me together. That sucks that they were out of sync. It sucks. I need to kill both of them though, they probably rest each other. On the bright side, I don't really have anything to lose here. We gotta go through here someday, so it's time. Lightning skills off faith. I think. Or at least the spells of it do. Most of the differences in magic types and stuff are just practically spreadsheet nonsense. They just cannot know how they work without looking it up. Confounding lack of information about how this game plays in it. Oh. I'm almost back. Running through here worked just fine. You freaking jerks. You're so good with those. Why can't I be that accurate? Fuck! Please. Get the hell out of here. We have found this. Now, I can't use it though because the skeletons are still here. But they're gone forever. <laughs> I did beat the gargoyles and I played for another five hours, so I wouldn't say it was near the end of the stream, but I did do it. <laughs> Didn't beat him. Hydro was worse. What did that do? I don't remember that switch at all. Why can't I use this? Hey. Release me from combat, you jerks. The 14 headed Hydra was worse, and I'll tell you why. The second Hydra, it decided that it didn't needed to have its heads chopped off ever like it didn't it didn't have that rule apply to it so it was just a seven-headed hydra the whole time it didn't get weaker and it was in front <laughs> so it had to be slain before i could even get to the uh, the regular one and then that one was annoying just because it's the hydra and it wouldn't let me kill it it took hours Nice. Like, I was 
nearly killing the Hydra and I only... <laughs> I had knocked one of them down to like 10 HP and then only two heads were missing out of the 14 because I'd only hit the real one twice, I guess. And it was just a real pain. So if you're unfamiliar with Dark Souls, there's a divine weapon that keeps these guys dead even if the Necromancer's around. They all res on me using the fire though except for the necromancers uh so our goal here is to chase those fellas right there those guys they're the ones they need to be slain uh we also just keep resing these guys i'm thinking i can shoot them fire but it seems kind of far you can tell because the lights in the skeleton eyes are lit up that they are not going to die Okay, he's still alive after that backstab, though. It's one. Now, also, I'm under the impression that they both have to die or they'll keep rezzing each other. Oh, God. There's so many. So, I don't think that that one will be dead. I think he'll be back. Uh, I have to kill them both, I think. Hopefully not, but I expect that my hope is useless here. We have to deal with these two. Yep, they are both there. Sadly, my backstab is just not quite there. I don't even know how I died so quickly. A little wild that I died that quickly. I'm gonna rack up those deaths here. I should not be using my shield. I need to kill these guys in short order, right? If I wasn't using my shield, I would have made it through. I wasn't blocking or anything, and I just wasn't two-handing the sword, and so they didn't die in one swing like they should have when I backstabbed them. I had it. And I messed it up. He's still alive even with that though, heck. That's a shame. They're dead. Now we can kill the skeletons and be happy and safe. Well. Skeletons are so aggressive, and there's so many. This is actually, this feels like a regular, like I wouldn't notice that the enemies are double because I'm so used to being swarmed here regardless. There are obviously a million of them, but um, it's kind of how this area goes anyway. The difference here, it, it feels like I have run through and didn't fight a single thing versus I did. That's what it feels like. This is what it would be like if I didn't kill any enemies and I wasn't moving fast enough. It feels just like this. Uh, are there items I'm missing? I saw some stuff up there through the wall. What's that? I want to make sure I get all the items. There's a bunch of garbage hidden on the walls here I have to jump to. We need to visit the blacksmith too, for sure. He's got a store I need to check out. Dramatic deaths are off, really? They shouldn't be.
Let's try that. It will definitely make it worse. It's definitely a bad thing. Uh, it does not help me very much often. Sometimes it does. Most of the time it slops me up. Can't move. Nah. It's a matter of hooking the process correctly. Now it is on. Yeah, this area is not going to be fun. I might turn into tank mode to deal with this place because of how long I might have to be here to find everything that is here. Ew. Where'd you guys come from? Where are they coming from? Jeez. Heck. Wow. Great. That's all the healing I've got. Oh, man. <laughs> so many. Flask upgrade, no nothing really. This has been pretty merciless RNG. These things aren't any more dangerous than they usually are, it seems like. Well, I guess they would do double damage because they're stacked, but in terms of dodging them, I don't usually get hit by those anyway. So this area loves to put things on the cliff down below. I'm going to have to run through here a couple times, I think, ultimately, to land on these and not die and get the items that are on the cliffs. It really sucks a lot. This game has no business doing gravity anything. Once the necromancers are dead, I'll have an easier time. I don't think... We're quite safe just yet. This flips that land over there. Yeah, there it is, so I can go across. Hey, man. We are definitely a friend of Patches, and he has a store anyway. If he wasn't the best NPC in the game, I still wouldn't kill him because I need a store. Glad that doesn't hurt.
I sure don't know where all the hidden stuff is, so... If you know I'm walking past something, be my guest on telling me that I'm walking past something. Like I said, I did never find the blacksmith for myself. I just looked it up on YouTube maybe a year ago, <laughs> even how to get to it. Because, uh, don't know nothing about that. I think the resurrection's happening again, yeah. I gotta go. It's not that bad. They do take a while to res. It's just... It definitely is not a thing I want to be dealing with, so... I'm going to be dead here soon. I think. Yeah. Got the item out of there, at least. Gotta find the mage. Should I use my humanity and light this fire right here and get 10 heal? Or should I just learn how to run past twice as many villains? I think I'm gonna try and learn how to double run. I think it'll be all right. There's gonna be so many of them that they're gonna have a hard time staying on the platform. I think it's gonna be fine. We use their numbers against them. Shit. They're using the numbers against me. I can't believe this. Tweet this image full of skeletons here. <laughs> skeletons love blood. Skeletons are dangerous in a very specific way. They don't, uh, they don't really try to backstab or do... They don't have a whole lot of moves. But they have a lot of jump attacks and... Weird shit. Very aggressive things. I'm lost, also. I don't know my way through this place too well. It's a place I don't look to do very much. I just try and go. There you go. Here's the fellas. Oh, damn it. Okay, skeleton resurrection is cancelled. There's not a whole lot of those guys. Like we're we're making it. There's only a couple more, I think. How do I get that? Probably down further. <sighs> this is where the blacksmith is. I'll just see it.
It seems like I'm gonna be here for a while collecting items. It is possible that I can rack up the defense that I need to survive all this without too much hassle, like lose my speed, switch to pure gear. Maybe that'll work against these guys. I really hate that I get stunned by a skeleton stepping on my toes. <laughs> what? what the heck? It's that one skeleton gets me every time with that nonsense. Oh no, he shot me right in the shield. That's a shame. Hate to see that. Fuck's sake, man. There's so many that they just block the whole route. They're a big problem. Yeah, I, I mean, my poise is high, though. I'm medium rolling because I should have a lot of poise. Like, I can I cannot be stunned by a sword swing. But for some reason, the game thinks jumping on your toe is the most painful thing a knight can experience. What is my poise? It's only nine? How can that be? These things don't have poise on them at all. This. Um, this doesn't, even though it's heavy. I just assumed Gwyn's would have some on it, but it doesn't. That sucks. A piece of junk. I'm switching to the big armor that I have. Black Iron set is here. For the most part. We're going Golem mode. I'm gonna stumble my way through this area now that the resurrection's dead for a while. Let him come. an item. I think he just dropped that. Ah, that ain't gonna be anything. Pretty big difference there on survivability. That's what I thought. Going the full it's like a plateau that you cross where you suddenly, your armor actually has some kind of effect. And it happens once you get like 300 poise and a billion armor, like a thousand armor actually. It's... Anything less than that does nothing. Because the numbers are so high. Skeleton's getting rezzed? No. Looks like I'm wrong about their eyes. Well, we did as well as I do when I run through. A little better, actually, because I only used one Estus this time. current plan is to kill every single skeleton that I see, since they don't res anymore. Skeleton go, but he wants to battle.
Okay, fellas. You're one of my least favorite piles of skeletons here. I'm missing a secret here of some kind to get to that item below. Where's that? Is that it? I honestly have no idea what this is or what it would be. Ooh. I wish I could kill more of these than I have, but they tend to give me good stuff, so they still do good things for me. Where am I? Slow and steady. I went backwards. I did not get the item I was looking at. I found a crystal snails. I uh, didn't want that. Well, I did, but it, it's not what it was. It doesn't help me. It's not an item. I don't think they have key items on them. Damn it. My speed going down makes these things more dangerous, these bombs. So many right now, I do not like where I'm at. Man, come on. Endless supply. I'm leaving. Fuck these. We're after Pinwheel right now. I have beaten the Gargoyles, uh, Capra Demon. I don't have keys to make more progress. We have to go to Blight Town or Pinwheel. That's all that's left. Two options. Unless I'm forgetting something, that's it. Now, how do I get to this thing? Optional bosses like Capra Demon, well, they're optional now because they're not guaranteed to drop anything. All the bosses could be optional, honestly. I think you'll have to ring the bells, so a couple of them aren't. But uh, otherwise, the only two that are mandatory for sure are the bells. So Quelag has to die. Uh, that's probably it, though. Anyone else is um, only if they access more stuff. Like, I could get everything I need to finish the game early. Haven't, though. <laughs> So is there a secret passage I'm not seeing for that item? Could this be it?
Hey, thanks, Patches. Thanks, Patches. I don't remember how he works. I'm looking for an item anyway, before I let him kill me. Uh, where is it? Is there a bonfire? Neat. I didn't know that. I didn't remember it. That would be nice. We're pushing our last legs here. Oh yeah, the fake wall, right? And the spikes. They progress, though. We might actually make it. Well, man, hey, thanks, Patches. I told you he was a bud. He messed that skeleton's day up. Not as much as I did, but, you know, he's way up there. I'm down here, so of course it's easier for me. Let's go thank you. It was hard work. Hiding bonfires and only having a couple of them is a mistake they fixed in numbers two and three. And I was happy to see it. They still had hidden bonfires in two, and probably three as well, but they had so many that you didn't care. Doing fine. They had boss doors with bonfires right next to them and stuff. Just big enhancements. It's like they knew finally that they'd made a mistake here. 
despite what all their fans said about it. this first one. The developers knew that they had made an error in judgment on some of these decisions. Down they go. There's so many skeletons they have trouble. That's why I figured is that they wouldn't be able to really handle this. I missed a lot in two, um, but there were a lot to miss, so that's good. How do I get that item? That's the question. Somebody said they knew how to get up here. I don't see the way. It seems like it's above because I'm about to fall into the blacksmith zone here. We have a soft humanity. I can't do anything about that. Um, that's just the way it goes. There's a floor that breaks up here, but it didn't go to that item. It went to Crystal Snell Palace. Did I miss something? I actually don't remember much about Dark Souls 2. It was a really long game. I thought it was a little boring. Uh, I got tired of it, but... I was much happier with it than I was with this one. <laughs> hey, so I'm fixing this up. I, it's hard for me to complain about having too much content, I guess. I mean, I played it on release and there already was that much and they added a new thing. Even though that new thing seemed to actively make the game worse, it added even more content. Okay. What am I missing here? Yeah, we're... If I were playing this normally, I would expect everyone to be hooting and hollering about every item I'm missing. No, I don't know where it's at. Heck, I don't see any. Hold on, Isaiah. I'm gonna hop in Discord too in case anybody feels like joining me on that. Um, some, some of my friends sometimes hop in there. I forgot you could attack while on the ladder. None of this has taken me to an item. That goes somewhere else completely. Like this is way back on the mountainside where I do not want to be. Yeah, there's no item here. I do not like these things. It honestly feels like they're not even blowing up. There's so many of them that they just stick around, but it's because I think there's two of them on top of each other. That's why. And only one is getting set off sometimes. Huh. They do not care about my armor. I don't care about terrain. I don't care about much. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I've, I've beaten this game at least four times, maybe more. I think a couple more. This was one of the first bounties I did this remastered edition, so I played this at least once. I don't know if I finished, though. And, um... I wouldn't know how to direct anyone through this place. I have a pretty decent idea, I think, but... Does this take me there? What about this? Could this be it? No, that's just a dangerous jump I did for fun. This takes me back to patches. I'm going nuts trying to collect every item, but there probably isn't anything there. It's just a randomizer, so you want to, right? So. 
I don't want to skip an item and have to come back and just keep in mind that I left an item behind. I would like the area to be done when I do it. Where's the ledge that I'm trying to fall into? There's a goodie, a uh, couple of rooms down that I need to get to. Yeah, I don't want to skip anything. I want to collect every... That's This is 100% run until I have the items I need. We're not in go mode. We're playing a randomizer. Have to click. You mean what I just jumped to? This? Is this it? Ah, thank you. I almost had found it. This is what I wanted, yeah. Soul of Priscilla. I mean, that's a pretty good find. That's like 10,000 souls, right? Ooh! Where's this? Very confused where I'm at now. I think I've been here before though. Oh. Yeah, this is where we climb into a coffin, right? I get an item for that too, I should do that. I think. Hey, fellas. They're going to res, looks like. <laughs> Voice is so goofy. It changes the game so much to finally have it. Oh fuck, I'm dead. They were just ready for me, bastards. Okay, well I got that item. The path I was just on isn't like hidden, right? I can get there in a couple ways. Well, I'm gonna go after the blacksmith first. Let's do that first. I got the item I was upset about missing. It wasn't a bad one. If I could find souls of Priscilla every day, I'd be in business, I'd have a million souls. It just wasn't essential. Okay. Did it the way they wanted this time. The blind jump has been completed proper. <laughs> okay, now we will not die when we fall, I think. What about this guy? Will he spoil your focus? Should I use this bonfire? I mean, I want to turn it on, right? But I'm missing some items up above, I feel like, still. Maybe not. I'll be alright, right? 
I can't use it anyway because the game hates me. At the moment. I need one of these for the birds. I need one of these too. The rest of his junk is garbage. I can't remember if I needed a dung pie. I don't think I did. <laughs> now, where have you gone? Well, the fire is lit. No, it's not. I'm still in combat, man. Come on. Let me go. Why I still combat? Oh shit! I'm dead. Forget about the bone wheels. There's no hope here. There's no escape from the double bone wheel. Oh my. Sorry about that. I just sneeze. I'm gonna make a post about um the bone wheel flood. So that Twitter knows what I'm up against here. I was waiting for the bone wheel flood. Now, I didn't get to light the fire, but the door's open though, right? So I can get it from the bottom when I get down there normally, right? He opened the door, so it's all good, I think, is the situation there. So we don't need to worry about that. It's done. I can focus on getting the items in this dumb place.
See all those shiny bits? Ah. <laughs> Where are we going here? This weird cat wants yogurt. What? <laughs> Go away. You can't have that. Alright. Forward. I have no idea how to explore this place, how to get the items. Things I know about are that there are still many items that I have to fall down to the cliffs to get. Uh, I'll take care of those. Probably now. Probably going to die each time I get one, so probably should just do that, and then we have to beat two Black Knights again, and there's the Gravelord thing. And I think that might be it after that, then it's just the boss. And we have a shortcut fire for that, so it shouldn't be so bad. I'm just gonna push forward for the moment, I am gonna go through the regular path and see where it takes me. I don't remember how to get patches to not have this turned the wrong way. I think I have to do it manually now. Is he still up there? Yeah, he'll let me do it myself. Thanks, pal. Got the egg. Where did you come from, and why did you hit me while I'm in a fog door? We're back in the rest of the zone here, I think. Not sure, but I'm pretty sure. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage for somebody with all this armor. Ugh, I broke through my poise somehow. Hey, fellas. <laughs> I just got parried by that skeleton. The Balder Knights do it in the church, and it was the kind of their thing. Anyone else doing it's weird. I don't know why the skeletons do it. I actually don't mind that the Balder Knights do it because they have a very clear animation for it. But these guys really don't have any business doing it, in my opinion. Yeah, that glow means they're getting rezzed here.
But where is the guy? <laughs> hey. Ugh. As we enter the real stuff, and we do it with just generic armor, plus five, whatever stuff, at most, we're gonna run into a lot of this. This ain't on Deadburg anymore. Going this way again it seemed like a bad idea, though. Wow, it's absolute butcher shop in here. Jeez, it's freaking impossible to survive. I hate how long it takes to heal. Damn, dude. Ah, I feel like it's slower in this game than the rest. I had already started the animation and it was. Seemed like it should have started giving me my health back, but I was dead. Heck. We had a discussion about this on my Discord. Uh, it's everyone's favorite place in this game. Favorite location. The consensus among me and my buddies were that it is Undeadburg. <laughs> and every other place in the game is worse than Undeadburg. The church and Undeadburg. Consistently winning. And every other place is just lousy. Lousier than the last. Gameplay-wise, Painted World is a good one. Except for the sewers with the bone wheels. Hey guys, I found you. Fellas. You're done. The rest zone is over. We've officially killed those guys. They might have been the last ones. So this sign is, um, from the depths. Why? Why is it there? Because your ladder isn't clear enough? Why don't you just make your ladder brighter? What you got for me? Set everything here. Hey boys.
I know where I'm at. I got sent way back. I'm better off just... Well, I have humanity. I was going to say I'm better off just taking a dive, but it's not that far. I'll just walk to the fort. I try to preserve humanity if I can. It's a resource that I can't just grab normally. I think it's telling that I haven't been able to have more than one or two at any time, though. That's not good. I lost a lot of it to the gargoyles, though. I don't know if I would have been able to hold on to it, but that was where I lost the most. It's because every enemy is dangerous again. With doubler. You're never really safe in this game. Unless you're wearing, like, full havels and messing around. But, uh, when they're doubled, everything is dangerous. And I lost it to the walk up to the gargoyles. Can I use that now? Yeah. Now what? Did we accomplish anything? <laughs> I found an item, I guess. I found a secret uh, item. Where exactly do I jump off of this ledge to get to these items that are... I think it's further down. I don't think we're there yet. You mind. Weird gravity skeletons. Now that the resers are dead, I'm going to take my time and kill the skeletons again. It's time for that plan of action once more. And maybe we can make some progress in this area I have to clear. If I'm not mistaken, I've killed all of the resurrectors. I think those two secret ones... That secret one was... um. The last one. The really obnoxious hidden resurrection man. Let's go this way first. Ew. Why am I going this way ever? I don't know if they gave me an item or not. Up to this point, every enemy that could res can no longer res, though. So I haven't missed any. Oh yeah, they're getting resed again, aren't they? Still getting it. This area has one then. Let's find him. That's my priority right now. Because to me those guys being dead at progress. It's inevitable that I'll get through the area once. Those guys are dead. The skeletons can be beaten without hitting me. If I'm careful enough. I do not want to deal with resurrecting skeletons. big problem down there. I'm gonna try to solve it, but man, I don't know how it's gonna happen. Oh, please stop dropping on me. Relentless. I've killed the equivalent of two bone wheels out of, uh, I want to say there's like eight normally, so 16. What? <laughs> 16 bone wheels around? Oh, 
I'm out of heal, I'm dead. Ugh. I have to find the damn Necromancer. Does anyone know where he is? I find him every time. But I'm having a harder time now for some reason than usual. These ones are out of range of that skeleton res, so we can get rid of these ones at least. I don't want to go that way, do I? I don't remember if I did this or not. I think I've always died trying to go this way. These skeletons are dying. I can tell by how long the death animation is taking. Also the eyes, but if they animate full like that, they're definitely dead. be stunned. Oh boy. It's time for me to stop messing around and use any tricks I've got to win, uh, including Chaos Magic for sure. No, no mercy for these big skeletons. I don't need to sword fight them. There's too many. Play fair. Yeah, that's done. We did that already. There's no treasure there for me. There's no resurrection or anything. It's just empty. So, forward. Gotta be forward. Fighting these is just a waste of time at the moment. Just a huge part of the problem. Climbing up. This is going to take me back to Pinwheel. No, it's here. Get out of here, man. There's two of these guys, and they're already in my face before I can even move. Hate it. Stop it. Just 
Go away. I do have to kill both of them too before the other one dies. Or that doesn't count otherwise. Stop it. Where is the other one? Why is one here, not the other? Stop it. <laughs> Screw this. Taking my 10,000 souls and spend them. We're one away from my damn halberd. I don't know if that resurrected the knight or not. Probably did. I don't remember how to get to the Titanite Demons. I only got there one time here. This place is confusing. I'm gonna kill them too. I'm definitely not done with that area. I do not have any skulls. I only have one unalluring skull. I do not have a holy weapon either. So here's where I get mixed up. There's a couple options here. This way goes forward to what? These guys, there they are, okay. They are going to be hard to sneak past. There's a hole in the wall there. I think that's everything, though. There's also a grave around. One of, the, one of these places has a place I can jump in and just be in a grave and uh, get into a covenant. It sure looks like this one, but it isn't. I got eyes of death. I have so many eyes of death. I have like 50. These things drop them on the regular. I'll just play dead for a while. an egregiously long time.
Hey, thanks for the poison mist, actually. Hey, have I got the eyes for you? Looks like we might need some more. Back to bed. I would love to see how I'm being transported. I'm gonna need some of this flying gargoyles to do this, because that is really far. That would be like a long project to get this thing moved from one side to the Man, my boots look really stupid. I look like I have robot boots. I mean, the range is good. It's about the same damage, so I'm going to use this anyway. It's going to take a long time to kill this guy. Buddy backing him up. Oh, boy. That hits so hard. Stupidly hard. Like, it has no business hitting that hard. <laughs> I have so much garbage on, man. It's crazy that it hits that hard. It is nonsensically high. Dang. We can barely move because we were wearing so much gear. And yet, they just say the word and I'm dead. I'm so close to the Black Knight Halberd being equipable, so that'll be nice. I started as a Pyromancer. And, uh, I definitely don't have any holy weapon of any kind, I don't think. I would have probably noticed that enchantment. I also have no holy or magic weapons of any kind across the board. Just none. None of that has been given to me. <sighs> well, there goes those souls. Heck, man, they just decided I was dead again, and once again, armor in this game is a joke. <laughs> Even the poise didn't help with that spam. I did pick up a regular mace actually at some point. This thing.
I'm not sure when I got this. It was recent. None of these weapons have... Uh, I can't use this, so it doesn't matter that it's magic. I have lightning on the damage with a spear, and that's it. That's pretty much it. For, in terms of weird weapons, that's it. <laughs> it's a demon spear with the partial lightning attack is what I have. That's all. Unless I uh, missed my number. Well, I lost some humanity, it doesn't really matter though. I think I only lost one, and I had did spend the 10,000 ish shoals that I got while running through here, so. Also, I just got humanity for free when the skeleton jumped off the edge. So, I guess we're back in business. So it's Should I poison mist these fellas? Should I just run past them? Should I try and kill them? Oh my. Release me, please, from your instant kill nonsense. Ugh. I cannot get through. I hate him so much. I'm gonna switch spells because the fireball didn't do anything, that's for sure. I want that item. I don't care what they have. They don't need to die. As far as I'm concerned, they're whatever. We have Mist and Chaos Whip, those are both nice. Oh, did you? Nice. Thanks for the mod. I'm having fun with that, Goo. It was the easiest of all of them to install. I'll tell you that. Ow. Some of the other mods I have here made me have to reinstall the game like six times to get them on. And Cheat Engine <laughs> did not do that to me. I didn't have any trouble with that. It just worked. Oh boy, they're still resting. I really need to find the last Necromancer. Ugh. So is he down that way? Hey, fellas. Hey. Like, it's tempting to just use a homer bone now that I got my incredibly bad soul here. How do I get out? <laughs> yeah, screw it. I'll take my humanity home. One by one, I'm collecting all the items in this mess. There are... 
There's one I could fall on right here, and I'm thinking about trying. Uh, I feel like I'm missing the ones that require a ledge jump. I think I have already have. I'm not sure, though. I feel like it's pretty early on that you can drop down on those. Whoa. 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 That wasn't good. I was thinking about coming uh, down here at the start of the game. I'm glad that I realized that that wouldn't be a good idea. Man, get, get out of the... There's five skeletons waiting in line. Oh, heck. Let them all descend. Okay. Well, uh, down I go. Didn't get the uh, down stab save. Oh, there he is, though. Found the fella. Him dying is the goal. Nothing else matters. Those two must be slain. They're not gonna die this time, I don't think. Piss. I'm gonna beeline for those two. Just gonna run in there and start stabbing, man. I gotta dodge the two archers on either side. The big boys. But, uh, they both need to die. And then I need to survive while the incredibly long death animation plays. Or it won't count. I don't even remember how this spell works. Let's find out. Ah, uh, we just breathe mist. It takes a while too. Um, it's pretty big though. Oh, down he goes. I don't think it'll work. I do have the whip. The whip will work. The whip will destroy the crap out of them. If I pull that off, that's probably the end of them. Man, <laughs> I can't believe you. The fire whip will absolutely instantly kill everyone there. If I can get it to happen. If I can I have the poise, so I probably can. Oh, this is such a mess, this area right here. I really want to be able to permanently kill these guys. These These guys are being rezzed, so they're just a huge mess to deal with. Twenty of them that are there instead of ten. It's a little much. Okay. Through here. I don't want to wait for them. I'm just diving down. Now. Let's get them. Ugh, their magic sucks, too. It's a good try. They're, they're going to stun me because their magic ignores my poise. So I have to dodge them, and then I fire. Nothing else there will stun me.
I don't know. I don't know how the res works. Can I lure them back away from the resers and kill them? Because that would be nice. I'm being pursued the whole time. Uh, I don't think they matter so much. It's really the skeletons that are in the very small area near them that um, annoys me the most. What's the back way? Might as well learn how this game plays while I'm here. I'm interested in the back way. Oh. Oh, the valley floor with the 50 bone wheels is not easier, no, if that's where it is. That is not the answer to my problem. <laughs> Anything that involves bone wheels I want to avoid for as long as possible. I'll be dealing with them in a bit. Oh no, don't fall. The Black Knight's down there looking at me too. Both of them are. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the way to do this, so... Ah, uh, I don't think it's gonna count. The Black Knight's here! How do you get here? They died first, but I have the uh, death animation mod on, which is um, it's actually serving as more difficulty because they didn't die before I did because of that, uh, I think. It didn't give me an item, so I'm pretty confident that they're not dead. It's come up a couple times. I'm just messing around with these guys, I'm taking a lot of damage for it, heck. Oh, you know what? That guy is dead. Maybe they are gone. I just didn't get an item for killing them then. I guess. They seem like they're gone. Maybe. They are. Nice. They are dead. But what item would I be missing then? Heck. Is that good? Is it lying there? It's not lying there. Permanently missed. Also, where the heck did that Black Knight come from? And how can I get him in a fair fight? Or I can just get rid of him forever. Hey, fellas. Hey, guys. There you are. Okay, it's time to dance with double Black Knights again. Once again, this is my life. I have no healing either. I blew it, come down here like this. I'll take my time and get him. Oh, is there a chest in Firelink I didn't know about? 
This is some kind of security system against losing items forever. I didn't know that. I probably should read up on the mods and stuff. <laughs> Who the hell's framped? Is that the snake? I haven't seen him yet. But I think I know what chest you mean. I better look at that. I might have very well lost something by now. Well, I'm gonna take my time now. The skeleton resurrection time is complete, so... No more hassle with these guys. It's over. This place is going to get cleared soon. Progress has been done. taking more damage than I would like, but um, I just need to play it slow and cut, cut them all down. Not doing a very good job of not taking damage here. Here's where some ledge items are. It's tempting to start trying to get those. Is this where most of them are? I'm, I'll be able to tell, I think, once I get lower. I'll be able to see them on an edge that I can't reach from below when I'm fighting the bone wheel pile, but I saw one right there that I could access from here. I don't have to take damage if I block with my shield properly. It's 100% block, so I'm just not defending very well. Let's let these guys come up here. Stalemate. <laughs> you win this round. For some reason. And then I get parried by a guy I'm not even swinging at. These skeletons have my number. I can beat the Black Knights easily enough if they fight me one-on-one, -on -one, but they won't. So, this probably isn't good. But I'm gonna give it a shot. They need to be taken down. They have to be stopped. I beat one of them already. It didn't matter, though, because I didn't kill them both. I have to kill them both. They both must be killed uh, together or in the same area. I, I even killed it and didn't die. I got to the bonfire, but that's not good enough. They need to be killed together in one go. Looks like he made a mistake and just not got his buddy with him, so... He's in trouble. I just need to play proper for a little bit. Just a minute. A minute of proper play here. Oh shit! Didn't expect that. I'm very injured. Oh, 
only takes two reposts to, <laughs> to, to kill this guy. There you are. Man, he came in fast. I do have a couple heals that are not uh, Estus. I can do better. We can get these guys if they're gonna fight me fair, like that one did. I don't know why they split up. That was my chance. I slipped. I should have had my shield up. There's no reason not to. Prevents all surprises. I wish I had that repair box. Hey. Skeletons. It's really tempting to go for the AoE swing on these guys, and I think I'm taking a lot of damage because of it. Can't resist. the whole crew. This also really works well against the Black Knights if they're not blocking with their shield, but they usually are, so I don't think it'll get them as easily as it did the first time. Might as well use it on these guys. I'm running out of Black Knights, actually. This is um, one of the last sets that there are. I think I've killed all the other ones. And this part's not too lethal, it's just uh, the cramped hallway with the two of them together to get them. Now. It's tempting to just jump on these guys. Let's do it. <laughs> I appreciate that he knows how to quick slide. Archer alive still. I can't be allowed because the knights are coming. They probably see me. Where are they actually? They're missing. Where did they go? Are they dead? But how could that be? Because one of them is still alive. One. I mean, I've killed each one of them once. Maybe they. Is good enough for the game. Maybe it thinks they're both dead now. Get bone will, man. I'm gonna check. Where I thought they were at. Yeah, I don't think they're actually here. But let's go down here anyway. I've cleared the area out. It would be easier to fight them in here than in the hallway. 
Probably a million more bone wheels yet. Thanks for the dung pie. Well, you know, I could probably beat the boss here this time. This seems like it's working out. I've gotten most of these dead. There can't be that many more. Even double, there can't be that many more. Shit. He's gone now. Bone Will has left. I'm watching for the Black Knights. I expect they're gonna jump me in a second. He's gonna jump me with a bunch of friends. That sucks. <laughs> These guys are such opportunists, man. My current goal is to defeat those two. Um, maybe I should go after some items too, but... I sure would like those two to be gone. Anything that affects a permanent change, I've been going after with priority. that just throwing grenades I've already unlocked the blacksmith. You know what? I could just grab these items and uh, start using that save instead of these ones. How do I get these? that even a ledge? <laughs> I don't know anything about this. I've only done this one time ever and I thought it was dumb and I never did it again. How do I get these things? Let me 
need to fall down in the right place. Those two look like they're on the floor. I can't even tell if they're on a ledge or not. Let me try and kill the Black Knights first. My souls are there anyway. It's 10,000. It's worth picking up. Well, if I don't make the fall, I'll be dead for sure because the bone rolls will get me. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Shit. Fine. Whatever. I have a backup. Hey boys. Always in for a fair fight, are you? We'll parry all day. <laughs> we gotta, we'll get them this time. This is it for you two. Stop getting in my camera's way. You're not gonna win this one, damn it. No. Black Knights are dead. The Bastard Sword is too much for these two. Get away. Piece of absolute crap. Soul of Gwendolyn. Well, thanks, pal. Didn't know that was you, Gwendolyn. Yeah, the skeletons were too much. I had to have poison. Now, how can I get those items I'm after now? That's the goal now. We don't want to fall down that pit, right? I want to, um... I want to drop down on the items and see if I can get them. That's the ticket. The souls aren't that important to me. 15k isn't that much, and... Uh, like, it's enough to get one level, which would be the Black Knight Halberd I have. I could finally equip it if I made it to a fire. So I guess I could walk back and do that. I should, I guess. It's right here. Then I can finally use that. That'll be nice. I can't upgrade it though. Not yet. Dexterity. I don't think it's a good idea to use it now either, but I can. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea because we're going to be fighting Bone Wheels. Oh, it's 18 dex. Ah, crap. I don't have the strength either. Um, I can dual wield the strength, but it's still a little ways off. I'm going to need level 44. I need two decks and two strength to put that on correctly.
He's giving me a dramatic death because he can't believe I parried him like that. So rude. Do I get an item for having a bunch of those eyes? Like, the Covenant gives me something like 15 of those, right? I should be picking these up, right? That's the ticket, I think. It's like we're doing the Covenant, sort of, in its own weird way. We grinded the PvP off of the skeletons. How many do I need for the first item? I've already turned in seven. Two more. Alright, well I'll head back there if I ever get three, I guess, or whatever. I'm surprised I don't have more. Okay, let's look at jumping down on this. easy enough. That's garbage though. My armor is definitely better than that in every respect. Is it just two items on the ledge? Is this it? Yo, you cannot possibly... Okay, well we got Gwyn and Guinevere. We're ready now. We got the two big souls. Uh, we're all set. Is there any other items I need? Did I 100% this place? I know that's hard to determine. And where's the blacksmith entrance? And what am I gonna do about these bone wheels? I've never used Gwyn's sword because I never really bothered to play New Game Plus. I went into the Crystal Lizard area, killed one, and then died to the Black Knights when I came here. I didn't know if I picked up any items in there or not, though. Probably not. That's to the boss, I think. I did get the item on the way to the blacksmith. I didn't light his fire, though, so wherever it is, it needs done, and I need to use that fire. Ideally. Oh boy. You gotta be kidding. I can't believe they found a way in here so easily, all of them. Is this good? This is a good thing. We got wheels! No way! Here comes the wheels! wheels. That really hurt a lot too, dropping on them like that. More wheels, we're not done with wheels yet. There are probably like 10 left, honestly. They dropped some white titanite chunks, which I think go to divine. 
Uh, which means I don't care about them, but I'll pick them up. A, re a regular ass skeleton is here. Somehow he's still alive from the fall. I'm glad that this guy got past my shield and did all that damage. Really happy about it. Out of potion. Can we be done with wheels now? Can we be finished? I want to find the blacksmith, please. I will respawn all these just to summon that uh, safety spot. I don't care. You do what you gotta do. Okay, we have three of these now. If it's that the animation made me think I was getting rolled on. I think I very well may have finished it up. There's a couple stragglers. I've killed a lot of these, to be fair. I'm just gonna run through after I... Um, it's safe. I don't know if Pinwheel's gonna be hard or not. Normally he's a joke. Um, I'm a little under-equipped, and also there are going to be two of them, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. I have no idea. Where is the blacksmith at? Well, here's this thing. I don't know why these are in my game. <laughs> nice. Somebody told me what they were. I don't really understand. Some kind of some kind of bonus thing. Super rare. I don't. I, whatever. They don't give anything to me. Not using my Titanite on that. This maybe is worth it. I don't have enough though, I think. Oh, I do. Uh, 10 damage and 12 lightning damage. Certainly will do that. With the one Titan I have. I don't feel like this run's gonna be... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's not gonna help. I don't feel like this run's gonna be much different than it usually is, though. I'm tricking them to come into here. <laughs> I'll just either kill them or avoid them and go the other way. I didn't get very many of them, though. I think I'm going back to the blacksmith fire. Ah, oh, here's the ones. I 
I took a wrong turn. Body blocked. I was almost there. I'm going to switch my armor now, I think. Something a little lighter. I wearing before. That's heavy because of the weapons. Still, yeah, it's not even close. I can't believe how bad weight is in this game, man. Jeez. It's lousy as heck. It's such a small number. It's not the weight that's the problem, it's the concept of having to be at 30% or whatever to have a decent speed. Ugh, that didn't help. Getting caught by them is still death. Uh, I mean, obviously even worse if I get caught with no armor. I'm never gonna find Havel's Ring. That's just not gonna happen. Oh boy. Ah, another one. There's so many. I'm not going to evade them very well. I can usually run right through here, but the second one, surprisingly, I guess they're just out of sync. Um, it's just knocking me down. Once you get caught, it's over. I usually just roll right through. The numbers on weight are all wrong. Um, I feel like having a fat roll and a medium roll is neat, but uh, the medium roll happens way too early. And the fat roll usually makes sense. I understand that one. That one usually I agree with. The middle roll though happens way too early and it sucks too. It just feels bad. Okay, no longer being pursued is boss time. good. There's fakes everywhere.
Please stop making fake pinwheels. I insist. I'm extremely not going to have an easy time with this boss, turns out. That's what I'm ex ex uh, excited to see here. Okay, they're actually half dead. I'm not doing too bad, but I have taken a lot of hits. We can't let these guys exist. They spam too much. I don't even know how to fight this boss because he's all he'd, he'd be dead already. I don't know anything about this. I'm going to put on the heavy gear again and see if it maybe is better for this. Um, I think Havels will be because it's going to have magic resistance galore. I'm not sure about the rest. Penwell's not seeming like he's going to be one of the hard bosses, but he certainly is worse than he usually is. That's... I've never died to him before. I've gotten here with no healing in one. I think that was the first time I got here. It was this nasty area, and then the boss was pinwheel, and I instantly won. Heck. These things are not easy to sneak by. There's so many. I owe myself like three deaths I didn't mark there. Forget to do that. hallway that they just they just kind of glide down being the wheels that they are that wasn't too bad we'll see if he can't hurt me as bad now i don't really need speed for this love to uh, take damage at the intro of a boss fight Okay, the answer is yes, he still does way too much damage. <laughs> Holy crap. These things that I never would get hit by normally, it's just evade. I've identified which one is real, I'm gonna hunt him down. Okay, there's just a regular pinwheel fight now. <laughs> Are we good? You're the one. Ugh. He's had time to set all these jerks up though. Oh, he dropped something. I'm not gonna get it, because I died. He probably dropped his mask. Because that was the real one. Is he spawning twice as many of these as well? Is that happening? Or does he always do this? Whoa. Well, that wasn't too bad. Too bad I couldn't pick up the item, which, um, it wouldn't have been a mask. It would have been something, though. Hopefully it was, a. Uh... Nothing special, but no way to know. These things have so much momentum and they just keep going. 
I think the answer is definitely to burn him down. Just get whatever weapon would do the best at that and take him out quick and then deal with the other one normal. Finish his clones off and then go after the second one. Ugh. But <laughs> Bone will smack me. Am I gonna make it? It's gonna be close. I was surprised I didn't get killed after walking through the door. I'm in terrible shape. slaughtered. I have to evade that first shot. There's seven of them firing. I don't know if I have a fire log. Yeah, you see that firekeeper soul that just showed me? Wouldn't those be nice to find? Just one? Even? A single one? Where are they? What a depressing world. I think I had made a log for the spoiler and then it didn't turn on the item generation, so I had to remake it and I don't have the new one. Heck. Spoiler log is the text file that a randomizer generates so that you have a way to find out where stuff is in case you get stuck or want to look something up. And the reason why it wouldn't be on by default is because um, you might have been sent the seed for a race, so that would be cheating in a race, but in the single player you might want it. I don't have it. I don't think. I might still be able to generate it though. Maybe I can. Without changing anything. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna just slash this clone first. Because fuck these guys. fast. <sighs> Damn. There's a couple boys here, huh? <laughs> I should be using my claymore so I have the sweep attack. This sucks. This attack is not good. Come on, guys. Stop existing. Holy crap. Which one is even real anymore? Hey, drop an item again. This is like a bad joke. <laughs> I hate this place. <laughs> Get out of here. There you are. You've been identified, you son of a bitch. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, the heavy does a spin. Nice. You're moving in a weird way, but you just disappeared, so you ain't him.
Are you out of friends? Finally. And we'll... 10 humanity? I'll take those all day long, man. And another one. Yo. That's the best reward a boss has given me yet. Okay, another boss defeated and no progress identified. Once again, still stuck. I don't really know what to do uh, about that. Like, we have no... Right, that's not ammo, that's a prism stand. I have no anything. Uh, I actually do have a helmet. <laughs> So their idea of patching this game is putting in signs to tell you where stuff is, instead of, you know, any effort. Sure, cut ahead. Oh, we're... Just because uh, he normally would drop something important doesn't mean that he's supposed to now. I'm thinking that it's going to be a dangerous trip to the bonfire. And that I probably should... ...spend my souls. But, um, I really don't want to... I, I guess I'll just do the run again, it's not that bad. Yeah, I mean the next bonfire is gonna be tough to get to. If there's one of those damn skeleton dogs, I don't remember when they show up, but there's gonna be two of them now, they're gonna instantly kill me. They're bad enough as it is, they're just busted enemies, but now there's two! Oh man, this place is my least favorite place in the game. And I am not ready for it. I'm only here because I'm kind of forced to be here. I don't really have another place to go. Blight Town, I guess, is next. Because, uh... That's the only other place I have that's an option. There is a dog in front of me, so... Let's just go to the fire for now. Spend these. My fire got cancelled because of this vagrant. Now I'm doomed. I've been cursed. I don't mind Isolith, it's not finished, but that doesn't bother me. I mean, it sucks, but it doesn't actively make me hate it. It's just empty. I'll just die, and... Whatever, I'm not sure why I'm not allowed to use the fire right now. Probably... One of these enemies now sees me or something stupid, but... I'll just kill him. Or die trying. More souls to spend, right? I'm, sur I'm surrounded by drama. <laughs> I'm taking this wheel home. Oh, come on. Yeah, you know what? Quitting and reloading is the best way to fix this. Yeah, I think I dislike the Isolith boss the most out of all the bosses in this game. Capra Demon is probably number two, just because I think it's stupid. Not because it's really hard, it's just dumb. 
and the walk is so bad, but the Isolith boss is so silly. Out uh, the area, though, I do not like this darkness n nonsense. It's a common video game thing to show up, and it's always the worst. I'm gonna actually spend these souls as well. How much do I need? Yo, you've got to be kidding that I sat down at the fire and it got cancelled again. Because that thing spawned again. I hate those. Why are they here? That's so weird. How did those get turned on? I need like a thousand, so yeah, I'll just use one of these. Now I need one more level for the halberd if I want to use it. It's pretty good. If I need raw damage, I'll have that weapon. It's not gonna get any upgrades ever, but even at its base, it's like 250 or so. I think I upgraded it one time. So it's gonna, it's just gonna be 270. That's what it's gonna be. Wow. Every time one stops, another one comes in. This runs a little worse now, too, because there's a fog wall to save me, but... It's not that much worse. I do have the hat. I was lucky enough to find this, so this is a much easier area. I had the lantern too. I destroyed it because I have the hat, so... I destroyed it trying to get an item, and I did not get an item. Love to see it. Take this. <laughs> Pretend that does something to you, friend. shield or to switch to light armor again. Not, not neither. Neither is a mistake. I think I need to go through this area just to check it. I do not really want to go through skeleton's hell again, but it wouldn't be so bad now that it's clear. I could get down here quick because it's all done. Um, uh, it probably wouldn't be that bad at all. I wish I could freaking teleport, though. I would like to check the items in this place. I don't think I can do the boss, right? It's gonna be sealed, right? But, um, items, though. Heck. That roll killed me. I didn't even mean to do it. Heck! Author Blues is playing this as well. He's been playing it for like 10 minutes longer than me too. I didn't notice he was online. I'm gonna get to the next fire or whatever and uh, probably call it and watch that because I'm interested in Author Blues' run more than my own, honestly. This blind run is better than my gimmick run to me. I'm actually only playing this again, the first one anyway, because I was watching him and it made me feel like playing it. It's been a long time since I've beaten the first one. But I was thinking about it, and I didn't think that I would have any fun at all doing it vanilla. I absolutely had to mod it to be interested in it. And 
and I'm trying two mods at once that I was interested in. Save time and also increase my aggravation as much as possible by doubling everything and randomly removing my ability to get equipment. Oh yeah, I was watching that uh, Invasion 2 if you haven't seen it. Um, basically, I put on this hat and I had a lantern in each hand. Two skull lanterns and I went and invaded some dudes all day long and I finally ran into some dudes who didn't kill me instantly. And I walked around the archive with them for about 15 minutes just throwing prisms and pointing at enemies and just walking them through. And then when we got to the crystal cave I walked directly off the edge and they followed me to their death and I got the invasion points. Unbelievably good stuff. That clip is on YouTube. All 15 minutes of it. Can you parry these? Well, I can just block them, so whatever. These guys are tough uh, to deal with right now. For some reason. They're harder than I remember. Uh, he got me. I don't remember how I beat these guys before. They seem like... Maybe it's because there's two of them, but it just seems like I'm having a really hard time controlling them. They don't seem to care about anything I do. Ah, I hate that. I hate that so much. It feels so random getting through here right now. I have a YouTube archive. I'm done with that though. Uh, I'm actually combining everything under the channel that just got linked there. That's why that video is up there. I'm just merging everything into the YouTube channel I have that's popular. I don't need to run two anymore. Is the idea. So I had. I was putting out so many videos on YouTube that were LPs that I. And I was doing daily streams like every day for years. I was doing daily streams and I would upload all those too. So. It merited having to, but now, I still do daily streams, I don't do any LP stuff really. Just Arcade Pit on Sunday, and Speed Bump on Sunday, and that's it. So, unless I do another LP, and even if I do, I'm still just gonna throw it up there. Ah, <sighs> the 6th and 7th wheel are just too much. What the hell, man? Look at this screensaver, these guys marching in the dark that whips ass. Um, whatever's not on the archive is going to be on my main channel soon. If I, uh, all the betas for the Monster Chain stream should be up there. If I did them on a stream, they should be done already. I think I posted those. But I am going to put a video up that says as much on that channel that it's done. Uh, so don't expect any new content from it, but I'm not going to delete it. People were worried that I was going to delete it. I have no reason at all to do that. I mean... Not only is there like 2,000 videos up there that I get paid for, but also why would I delete that content anyway? Oh boy. Okay, so now I need to decide if I want to try and tank these big skeletons that don't care about me, or I can roll through them, or I can wizard them. How do I get that? What is that? Do I get that by going down? <laughs> Heck. Please get dead, please. Damn it. They just won't go away. Maybe my equipment's just lower than I'm used to. I don't know. These guys never have given me this much trouble, and I've surely beaten two of them at the same time before. Man, I am kinda baffled by them giving me trouble, honestly. They're just they're just wildly unbeatable right now. For some reason, I just cannot take them down. 
my pyromancy is not upgraded because I don't have the pyromancer, so that's still level one. So that's why that damage is pathetic. My sword is only plus five because that's the best I can do. I'm gonna try the halberd. Well, there's that instant death. I'm gonna try the halberd and no armor like I used to do. The obvious build. And maybe then I can beat those two jerks, even though that's also not upgraded. It is plus one. That's good enough. It's still so busted, so... Surely I can take them down with that. I got a lot of them to go. I mean, this is just two of like 50. I've got so many to go. I have to be able to beat these guys to go through here. The heckin' bone wheels, man. I mean, if you get the halberd, yeah, I would say it's the obvious build. Like, it's all over once you pick that up. It's, it's time to never use armor again and just... Wish I could hot swap gear. <laughs> see if I can evade at all here. I need to delete so much of this. I also don't have a box to put this junk in. The halberd is very heavy too. Might as well be mid-rolling, I guess. It's not that bad. close yeah like so we're getting the fat roll at like 30 percent like 50 percent what i have so much equip load left and our rule is ruined okay fellas We break their poise now. Big difference there. That is wildly better, and I think that is what I'm used to, is having a big weapon that's plus 10, like this Y-hander, which I don't have. And that is why these guys don't give me trouble usually. They just get locked up. I'm looking for a way upwards. I don't know where it's at. Feels like I'm walking past it right now. Yeah, it's Twinkling Titanite, and I don't have it. Just do not have. Okay, we can just flood them with this weapon. Hey! Speak of the devil, man. That's double, too. That's that's an upgrade for sure. Hell yeah. That's like a game changer item to just find lying around. I don't need that many. He's dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it.
Should I be going through this area? Maybe I should just... I mean, Blight Town's loaded with items, right? We do not really need to try this place just yet. Maybe it's time to bail. I don't know how to bail, though. How the hell do I get out of this place? There's no way out of this place, man. How do I leave? Is there a way to climb out of this stupid catacombs? It's gonna take forever, dude. Like, there's technically a way, and it really sucks. Can I use the dark sign and just go back to the prison or something? Aw, oh, heck. Yeah, there's no... My options are either go all the way back through the way I just came or forward through... I mean, there's not even anything forward. It's, it's back the way I came no matter what, I think. Can I... Which is a little confusing. Can I warp out of... Like, uh... What if I don't have the Lord Vessel? Am I allowed to even go down to the next area? How do I get back if I made it to the next bonfire and saved? What would it do then? Is there a way out? I didn't know there was even a way out. I don't know that place very well, I guess. I'm gonna put back on my big stuff and crawl forward. I'm just gonna leave. This place is not where I want to be, man. Let's go to Blight Town. I hate to say that Blight Town is where I should have gone from the beginning, but probably should have. It's done here, though. I'm going to get back to Firelink Shrine before I call it today. That's the goal. Can we make it? And uh, honestly, the best thing to do is probably... Oh, well, let's use the Halberd and see how it goes, but I bet that the shield is better for me. I have some really nice equipment from the Black Knights, at least. I have that going for me. I've got the uh, shield and the halberd, and I think I have a sword. Maybe? No, I don't. Just those two. But those are... I'd be happy with that normally. That's really good. beat these two um, guards back here. Do I care? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, they're not gonna die to me uh, very easily here. I don't think it's worth bothering with. These guys are too strong. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about them. If I do ever feel like killing them. Stop it. Oh, no. Couldn't move. I already got the item behind them. They're still blowing up. They're finally done. Okay, yeah, I need, um, need to move it through that place. We cannot get caught in that one area there. It's as bad as this area down here. It's just super dead. Ah, 
Uh, part of the reason is because all of the skulls in this whole valley see me right now, so they are all after me now that I've run through here. So they all catch up to me after I climb this ladder and go out that door. And they just start blowing up. So... Need to be moving. Need to keep going. Need to make it to Patches Fire. All 300 blowing up skulls. The whole zone is pissed. I have boots that uh, make no noise, I think. Or a ring or whatever. I don't have a spell that does it, but I have the walking quiet thing, if that would be useful. I have it. Something like that, anyway. Walking noise can be turned off. Got the ability. Okay, this is not great. I'm locked in. I'm safe. Well, I was. <laughs> what? Jeez, man. Freaking Superman over here. What the hell? Even in death, he's better than, the, than me. I'm leaving. They can't hurt me, at least. The range on this is so good. It's not as good as the spear, but man, it does just fine. Can I use this now, please? Yeah. Nice. We're halfway up. We're past the hard part, honestly. The rest of this is not going to be so bad. None of the skeletons have um, immortality anymore, and... It really isn't that bad anyway. Uh, even with that, that wouldn't... It was the bottom half that I was not looking forward to doing, so now that it's clear... Ah! We're gonna go see the blacksmith again real quick. Hey, man. <laughs> What's up? I don't feel like I have a reason to run from these guys. I'm just gonna make sure they're all dead so I can just go. They die in one hit from this weapon, which is so much easier to deal with than uh, three like I was doing. And they stay dead, so why not just treat them like they're just regular minions now? There are a lot of them. There's too many to just run past, usually. These two are guarding a shortcut. Oh no! That's a mean arrow, dude. Oh, jeez. My beautiful face.
Uh, I'm lost. I don't feel like this is the right way because I'm looking at that ledge and knowing that I ran past it originally. This wall looks fake. What, what the heck? How do I get to where those guys are? There it is. Maybe? Yeah, okay, I didn't notice these steps. Nice block. Almost clear. There's another bonfire up ahead, and then it's the very easy walk up the steps with just a couple of skulls, and... That's like the one part of this I did without too much trouble was getting through that part. Where does that go? What's this? This is to the fire, I think. Yeah, nice. We're gonna make it after all. I thought this would be a huge pain in the ass, but it would only be a pain in the ass if I kept going down even further into that stupid zone full of giants. This is, uh, it's a long run, but it's not that bad. <laughs> the corpse made me fall with this drama. We'll meet those skeleton dogs someday. Oh my. Uh, the problem we're going to run into here, I think, is that they are blocking the way. So I am going to be dealing with that, the bombs, more than I would normally be dealing with. They're just not going to make it easy to climb up here. I'm going to have to kill the skeletons still. And, um... Uh, then they're in the way because they're dying forever, <laughs> so. This is not that long of a climb, though. Yeah, we're already through. I just gotta do the graveyard now. Which I probably can run through, actually. Maybe. We'll take a look at that chest too, in case I missed the key item somewhere. Crow! So glad to see that bird's ass. Both of them. A double bird ass. Aha! We're through. Progress! Today, in three or four hours, we managed to kill Pinwheel, and what else did I do? Um, I think that was the most of it. We got to Pinwheel and killed him in three, <laughs> three, three and a half, four hours. Jeez, that took forever. Three and a half hours to kill him. This chest is still empty, it looks like. I don't think uh, it's ever had anything in it. This one? Is this the one? Well, the poise on this armor is 
very nice for this weapon if I am going to use this weapon for a while. It would be nice to one-hand it, though, if I can use the shield. Wouldn't do as much damage, though. That's kind of defeating the purpose. I'm going to call it here for the moment. I'll probably be back on at, like, 4 a.m., though, playing some more because, uh, this is fun. I'm having a good time doubling up the enemies if, um, if I'm still up. I didn't know if I'd finish this run or not, but I think I will because it's been an interesting go. Defeating the eight gargoyles was tough. <laughs> The, the quad gargoyle fight was pretty rough, and that got me interested in this. Alright, I'll see you later, everybody. I'm gonna host Arthur Blues. He's running this blind, so no spoilers over there, but it should be fun. Have a good one.